guys welcome back to my channel so today I've done this very uh, simple Halloween makeup look so I've done a bat wing liner and a purple lip I was really inspired by this girl on Instagram her name is by Sarah Nilsson I believe I'll leave it linked down below she is so talented and I was super inspired from this look and I thought I'd recreate it for you guys and just show you guys how to create it if you want to do it and I thought it was super easy and fun to try out so yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial sorry if I'm talking kind of funny I had my wisdom teeth removed just this week it's only been about three or four days so it's still quite sore and swollen so yeah I go really in depth with my skin today the different products I've used you know, it really chills out the cheekbones, give it really glowy Halloween-y skin. Because I feel like of all the days of the year, Halloween is definitely a day where you can go all out with glowy skin, highlight and everything like that. Because it's a costume look, it's for fun, you want to glow like the sun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. And without any further ado, no more talking from me, my cheeks are killing me. Let's move on with the tutorial. Have an awesome Halloween, guys. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys, so let's get this puppy face all glammed up and ready to hit the streets for Halloween. So first of all, I'm priming my skin with my Scandinavia makeup setting spray. And I'm just basically dousing my face in this so that it's nice and primed. And because my face was quite sore, I didn't want to use any creams because it was quite sore to touch. So this one just sprays on. It's easy, it's nice and tacky. It helps my makeup last all day without getting oily. It's just all around good. Next, I want a nice glowy finish to my skin because this is Halloween look, so I want to be glowing to the gods. So I'm using this strobing liquid from Maybelline and placing this on all the high points of my face and just rubbing it in with my fingers to create that gorgeous glowy base. And I also wanted to bring this down my neck and on my decolleté, so shoulders and collarbones, because I wanted my skin to just glow. And I just, I just love the strobing look, so I just brought it down my body as well. Next for foundation, I'm going in with my Ready Set Gorgeous foundation in the shade Medium Beige, so 210, and placing this all over my face and making sure to bring it down my neck as well to stop that demarcification line that we can tend to get around our face if we forget to blend it down our neck. Once it's blended in, I'm going in with my concealer, and today I'm using this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige, and I'm placing this under the eyes and priming my lids with this as well. And then I'm just blending this in with my Chi Chi Beauty Sponge. And because this concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, it creates a very subtle highlight to the face as well, which is kind of what I want to go for because I'm going for more of a glam look today than a natural look. And then to conceal any of my breakouts and, you know, scarring or anything like that, I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen. So it's the same colour as my foundation. So it's going to blend in seamlessly and not highlight those breakouts or those scars or anything like that. And I just place it on the scarring areas and then I just blend it out, like buff out the edges with a buffer brush from Real Techniques. So that it seamlessly melts into the foundation. <laughs> to set my under eyes, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier powder and just basically baking this under the eyes with a contour brush from NP Set. And then I'm also setting my lids with this as well and dusting whatever excess product is on the brush over the rest of my face to set it in place. So it's locked in, ready to go. Then I just dust away that excess powder underneath my eyes once I've let it set for a few minutes so that that concealer is baked in place and there will be no crinkles to a day. <laughs> To set my face in place, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to lock that base in place and help get rid of any excess powder sitting on the skin. To fill in my brows, I'm just using my usual brow powder um, from Maybelline in the shade Dark Brown on the tail of my brow. And then on the head of my brow, I'm using the Soft Brown shade. And I'm just basically applying that to my brows. If you would like to see my brow routine, I'll link it in the cards above. So you guys can click on it and check it out if you would like. And I'll also link it in the description bar as well if you'd like to check it out after the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to whip through this baby real quick because brows are like the most boring part of the face. So let's just speed through this part real quick. <laughs> Once our brows are done, we're going to move on to bronzing. And I grabbed this new bronzing powder from Micellin, I believe. It's in the shade Barbados Babe. 
And I'm just placing this on the premises of my face, so on my cheekbones, um, forehead, chin, and I'm also bringing it along my jawline as well because I want to really chisel, chisel out my jawline. Because I was really puffy and swollen from my surgery, I want to recreate a jawline that was not puffy and chipmunky. So to make myself feel better, I chiseled out my jawline and also brought it down my neck as well to bronze up the body. And also placed some on my nose to bronze up that part of my face as well because I feel like the nose hits the sun more naturally. So bronzing up the nose just creates a more natural bronze. To contour and further chisel out these cheekbones, I'm going in with this contour powder from Makeup Geek in the shade Breakup. And I'm placing this with a NP set blush brush. And I'm basically all I'm doing is placing most of the product towards my hairline and feathering it down towards the corner of my mouth, creating a nice deep contour for those really chiseled, structured cheekbones. And I also wanted to contour my nose a little bit. So I just went in with some of that contour powder and just really gave a nice structure to my nose. And then I'm going in with my beauty sponge to help blend that product into the skin so it looks more like a shadow and less like powder. To map out our bat wing liner, I'm going in with a white eye curl. And I'm just basically using little strokes, basically sketching on the bat wings on the outside, like on the corner of my eye. And I'm copying off the picture that I showed you at the beginning, that Instagram picture. I'm using it as a guide to kind of get the shape that I want. And all I'm doing, like I said, is just bapping out the shape using little stroke motions. The beauty about using a white eye curl is that you can rub out any mistakes so easily without messing up your foundation or your base or anything like that. And then I went over with a black eye curl to further bring out those lines so I could see them better. And once you're happy with the shape of your bat wings, you can go in with a liquid liner. I'm going in with this Hayley Baldwin for Model Co liquid liner and just basically tracing that black eye curl. So just using little strokes, taking my time. You want to be very, you know, um, careful with this because it is more intricate. So you want to just take your time, use little strokes. Once I traced over those bat wings, I went and connected it to my inner corner of my eye. So I closed my eye and just kind of drag it in towards the inner corner. And then I just went and did the same thing to my other eye to trace over the lines and then bring it and connect it towards the inner corner. You guys can kind of see here what I'm doing, so I'll, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Next, I went in with this Milani Infinite Black Liquid Liner and started filling in the line. So just, I've already outlined the bat wing shape, so I'm just filling it in. So I started off just filling in the, you know, the easy wing part of my eye. Then I realized that this one wasn't the best to fill in, you know, the more intricate parts like the bat wings and stuff like that. So I decided to go in with this Maybelline liquid liner instead and I just basically I found the wand a lot more better for the intricate work. It was easier to you know go along the fine lines, the details, get into all the little nooks and crannies and like fill it in. So I do recommend using the Maybelline liquid liner instead of this Milani one because I found the tip of the wand wasn't as you know sturdy or great for the intricate work but it filled in like the liquid liner fine like it was quite pigmented and glossy and black which was good but I did find the Maybelline hyper sharp wing liquid liner to be better for the intricate work and you know getting those really those really like clean crisp lines <laughs> so if you guys do happen to make a mistake or anything like that don't stress about it, just go in with some concealer and just crispen up the edges. That's what I had to do a couple times. I didn't put the footage in because you couldn't see it on camera when I did it, but I just used a bit of concealer to crisp up any edges that I might have made any mistakes on or anything like that. But once your bat wings are on, we're going to place on some mascara. I just used this Argan Wear Black Mascara. You guys can leave it at mascara, but I wanted to go in with a bit of lashes. So I decided to go in with these Demi Wispies and then stack them with these Captivating Lashes from BYS and then place them on my lash line. And to cover up the lash band, I just went in with some of that black liner from Maybelline to you know cover up any excess lash glue or anything like that. For the waterline, I went in with this nude liner from Models Prefer and placed that on my waterline. I didn't bother tight lining today, but you guys can totally go in with a black eye curl if you want a tight line. And I just placed on some bottom lash mascara. So I kept the eyes super simple and easy today. Just the wing liner was like the most that we did with them. And I feel like it's so Halloween appropriate 
Make sure to do a nice thick coat of bottom lash mascara because we aren't doing any eyeshadow or anything today. But that is the eyes complete hand. Next I'm going in and highlighting my cheekbones. I went in with that same strobing highlighter from Maybelline. And I know it was a cream. You can do this before you do powder, but I forgot. And I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna glow anyways. So I placed this on the high points of my face with my finger. So on my cheekbones, above the brow bone, um, the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow. And a little bit of a dollop on my chin. It's a bit of, just a little bit of a dollop on the chin area for a gorgeous glow. I'm so I just love this strobing liquid so much. And then over top I put a powder. You guys can leave it at the liquid, but I thought a powder just makes it go boom. Just like kapow, highlight in your face, just everything. Everything. And it's Halloween, so why not glow to the gods? So I place this Violet Voss highlighter uh, in the shade Moon Gleam, I believe on the high points of my face with an eyeshadow brush just to get it nice and focused on that area. So just basically anywhere where I place that strobing liquid, I placed some highlight. Then I went in with this Infatuation Blush from Makeup Geek and placed this on the contours of my face. You can place it on the apples, but I find the contours really slims out the face. It's very sexy, very sultry, and I feel like it suits my face better, especially with my chipmunk cheeks going on at the moment. I didn't want to make them more chipmunky. So I place it on the contours to slim down my face. And because I forgot to do an inner in corner and brow bone highlight before, I'm going in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and placing this on my brow bone and inner corners. Just because I feel like it opens the eyes up a bit more and gives it a little bit of extra something something. And it doesn't take away from the liquid liner. Like It's not like an eyeshadow, it's just a bit of highlight. Finally, to finish off this look, I'm going in with my NYX Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Purple. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what this colour is called, but I'm just going to whack this baby straight on my lips. No lip liner needed. This liquid lipstick is incredible. It's so pigmented and beautiful. So I just whack this straight onto my lips to complete this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do want to recreate this look, make sure to tag me in any social medias. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys to check out and tag me in because I love seeing your recreations. Otherwise, have an amazing Halloween. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.